haven't had much time to vlog lately. I ooh, this is not high enough. Game, is it? There we go. Yeah, I haven't had much time to vlog recently because I started working two jobs again and that kind of just took over my whole life. So I'm just gonna sit and chat with you guys while I get ready for work. And now I don't look like a drowned rat anymore. Life's been really good lately. I've been really happy. I feel really content with how life's going. I signed up for classes the other day and I got into everything I wanted to except for one. My schedule looks good, so now I just have to keep on working. Just have one more year left of school and then I'm finished forever. Too lazy to curl my hair today, so I'm just gonna go straight and boing. I don't even know why I bother, but here we go. That didn't even make that much of a difference. I've decided that I don't want to have my hair straight because it's just gonna bug me. So, I'm gonna do some pennies. What I really need is a curl and iron. That'll make my life so much easier. Okay, that's a bit better. Mousse is such a tricky product to get right. Like, you either put too much in it and your hair goes like crunchzilla, or you don't put enough in it and it does absolutely nothing. Wow, my hair is huge. Okay, now I gotta fix my face. I gotta get this out. Anyone else hate having the hair in the face when they're doing the makeup? I cannot stand it. Wow! So pretty. I feel like I've been going through it for the past three months now. It's just been an absolute crap show. And I feel like finally I'm coming out of it. I had this whole new outlook on life and stuff. I was really knocked off my feet for a really long time. It was to the point where I didn't even think I was ever going to be able to get back up. I just feel like I had to change my whole outlook on life and stuff. And this past few weeks, I really feel like I'm finding myself again. I guess it was kind of a blessing. Not really a blessing, but helped me grow a lot. I guess sometimes you need that. You need something to completely break who you are and who you thought you are and where you were going in order to find something else, some other kind of happiness or where you were actually supposed to be going. I hate the saying that everything happens for a reason, but I do sometimes believe that that may be the case. This lighting is absolutely terrible. I feel like I used to be a really negative and down person. For the longest time, I let really small things bother me. But when something huge happens, I guess it kind of puts it into perspective. Like, why am I spending all my time being negative? And really, I don't have much to be negative about. My whole outlook, I feel like, on life has changed. And whether that's because I've finally been allowed to be myself, or because I'm finally finding myself, I don't know. But it's really refreshing. I feel really free and able to, like, free to be myself. It's so warm today, this is not even gonna last my walk to work, so I don't even know why I'm bothering. I just feel like people get really caught up in feeling like they have to be happy all the time. But, like, it's okay to be sad. That's one thing I've kind of welcomed. Um, actually, if you haven't seen Inside Out, spoiler alert, that's kind of what it's about. Is welcoming sadness and letting it help you heal. I think it's important to feel sadness in order to start moving on with other things. Because otherwise you're just suppressing it and it's just going to get worse. Feel like you need to deal with it head on. Um, another thing too is I've accepted the things that I can't change. I've accepted that some things and some people just aren't going to change. Their opinions of you aren't going to change. So you just accept the things you can't change and change the things you can. I think is really relevant in things like this. 
Um, I've changed my attitude and I've changed my outlook and I've forgiven people and situations and I've also accepted that just because I've changed things that doesn't mean that someone else is going to change or something else is going to change. At this point I'm just kind of winging it, just winging life, just taking it as it comes, I'm not making plans, just going with the flow. I feel like by finally doing that and finally, sorry this is out of focus, by finally accepting that I don't have a plan and that I'm just going to go with it, I feel a lot more free and happy don't have any expectations of myself, I don't have any pressure on myself, just, I just have to get through it. So yeah, that's basically my philosophy for life right now is wing it. I've also started surrounding myself with people that are a positive light. If there's toxic people in your life and people that make you upset, then why the hell are they in your life is basically how I feel. Wow, look at that. Mm. Because having negative people in your life just invites negativity into your space. And that's not something that you want. If someone doesn't want to be in your life, again, I feel like that's a negative thing to invite in, is someone not wanting to be there. If someone wants to be there, then they'll make an effort to. But if not, then... Why are you still making the effort and making yourself miserable trying to make them see that they should be there or force them to be there when they don't want to be? Just goodbye. If someone doesn't want to be in your life, then that's their problem, not yours. Their loss. Things got deep here real quick. My fave. Absolute fave. If you need a mascara that helps your eyelashes, it looks five times longer. This is the one for you. See? Favorite spot in the world. Hmm? Isn't it? So as you just saw, I just did some shopping, um, so I figured I would just show you what I got, seeing as I don't really have much of the footage for this vlog, so let's give me like a um, mini haul video. I got basically some free money the other day, so I decided to spend it. First off, I went in for a turn on. I really needed a new bag and some gym clothes, so first I found a bag, looks like this, a strap. It's a really good size too, like it'll fit my wallet in it and it'll fit um, like a small bottle in it and stuff like that too, so really like that. I think it's leather. It smells like it. Oh, I've been, like, I've been looking on the website for Forever 21 for ages. I really need to use the sports bras because I'm in the gym way too often and I support really fast. So I got this one. I think I filmed me wearing this one. It has like a really nice detailing on the back. It's really nice on. It's a really nice bright colour too. So I need some like um, tank tops that you can see it through. There's no point in having a pretty sports bra if no one's going to see it. Another sports bra. It has deodorant marks on it. So this is just plain black. But it comes up really high. And it has like mesh detailing at the top. You can kind of see through it. But this one was really cool. It's really different. You don't really see many like this. So it's really supportive too because it comes quite high up. I also got some some trousers. I don't know if you'll be able to see this. They're like a really soft kind of linen material. And they're kind of cropped. And they come in with a drawstring. The issue I have with trousers is I have quite big legs and a big bum. So I have to go up sizes, but I have a really small waist. But this has a drawstring in it, so it actually comes in really nice and tight on the waist. So they fit on the legs and the waist, which never happens for me. These look really nice on. These are perfect for like summer going into fall. They're really light. And then 
I went into Old Navy. I just needed some basics, so I just got a plain white tank top and a new v-neck. You can never have too many white tops because they always go really gross. Just a plain v-neck. Um, I also got some toner, which I just needed. I'd run out. This is one I've never tried before. It's a Clearasil one. It says it's supposed to help with acne and you all know. I struggle with acne. We'll see how it works. It smells like raspberries and stuff, so that should be nice. And yeah, that's it. I just had some money to spend, so I decided I would go and treat myself and spend it. And it's really disgusting outside right now. Oh, this stopped raining. We were in the outlets, and it was pouring. It, we were absolutely soaked. So, I will be driving to work later. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to sit around all day and... Wait to go to work now. My legs are hella sore from my workout this morning. I decided not to film it just because you've seen like three of my leg workouts already. So I think I'm gonna deadlift tomorrow. So I'll film that for you and that'll probably be the last thing in this vlog. with pull downs but the wire is broken on it so I can't do any pull downs until we've repaired it so I'm just gonna do some free weight accessory work and then some shoulders and then I'm finished <laughs> 